Brown Theater at the University of Tennessee commissions professional playwrights to create work specifically for their graduate student actors. I had a chance to chat with the man who wrote the current production, People Where They Are. I had to write something set in Tennessee, that was the request, something that this audience would find interesting, uh, and something that I myself could write. California playwright Anthony Clairvaux researched possible Tennessee stories and happened upon the Highlander Folk School. It was founded in Grundy County in 1932. 30 years later, it closed, then reopened as the Highlander Research and Education Center in Knoxville before moving to Newmarket. The Highlander Folk School trained union leaders and fought segregation. It focused on social justice and was an incubator of the civil rights movement. They became one of the foundation places of the civil rights movement, training people for uh, nonviolent resistance and, and social change. Claire Vaux set the play in 1955, the same year Rosa Parks attended a workshop there. Everything in the play really happened, though some of the characters blend several different real people in history. They are also based very much on the concerns and the, the, the personae, the sort of the dramatic personalities of these actors. And they were integral to the writing of it. I met with them, began working together before I'd written a word of the play itself. Creating the play for the Clarence Brown Theater took about two years, from conception to opening night. So it's a contemporary play with contemporary political concerns set in a historical time, partly to say this is part of American history that we are living through right now, and we have our part to play in it, so let's think about how we can. People Where They Are runs through October 20th at the Carousel Theater. That's that theater in the round next to the Clarence Brown Theater on campus.